okay so uh, our sql database and the server is deployed now let's come to the logic app designer so from there we are trying to create a new step so this new step is going to create it for all of these uh, two branches okay so but uh, from here uh, I want to select a just uh, just t select the content moderator um, and select something uh, and from here then you can add a new step so I want to uh, parallelly process these uh, two paths so let's click on the insert new step from here and click on add an action and now you can silently delete this one okay okay so for the next step uh, so uh, we have we want to add a uh, if condition so I want to add a condition I will select condition if uh, the profanity term if if this detected profanity term is equal to you have many uh, controls here you can select contains is equal less than greater than starts with many things is equal to null that means you haven't detected any uh, abusive words in the tweet content if that's true I want to insert those th insert that tweet into my database so I will uh, click on add an action and I want to search for SQL Azure SQL database sorry this uh, uh, Azure SQL data warehouse so I will select SQL server and you want to insert a row so this one so now you have to give a um, connection name uh, let's give the same uh, Let's give a connection name like uh, connection and for the SQL server you can select the tweet filter server and uh, the logic resource group you can see this is the server we created you can select that one and you can select the tweet filter database and for the username you have to give the username you used uh, and for the password you have to give the password for the database server and let's click on create so it's getting created and you have to give a table name so we haven't created any table in the uh, SQL database so now let's try to connect to the SQL database uh, so let's go to the SQL database let's try to connect to the SQL database from uh, SQL management studio let's open the SQL management studio and let's click on the server name <coughs> you can uh, paste the server name and the login and you have to se select for the SQL server authentication and I will input my password and connect and we have to sign in to the Azure 
I hope I remember my Azure password for this. Okay, so I have signed into my <coughs> Azure and Azure portal, and uh, you want to add your client uh, address to access this uh, SQL server you created. So I will add my IP address and it's connecting. So now you have connected to the uh, connected to your database. Tweet filter database is available but it doesn't have any tables. So let's try to create a new table in the next video.